This is an original piece entitled The Me and the I. And it's unique in the way that after the poem, there is a quote by Jesus the Christ. It is true, there is pain that is held by me. The me that feels separate and faces mortality. A conscious mind shaped by experience and memory, beliefs and attitude behaviors, creating the personality. My cravings and wants only adding to the me identity. Me was born, lived, and one day will meet death. Yet the I behind the me can be found through the breath. The I, like the soul, is eternal and free. But that is not easily understood by the me. Pain registers difference between me and my I. And when me feels the cry of I, me wants to cry. So me would rather avoid and hide than try to apply. For you see, experiences are neutral and given for the learning. Yet when lessons are overlooked, they leave quite a yearning. Misunderstood experiences without the power to see improperly projected inward as something wrong with me. Or maybe projected outward as something wrong with you, seen through the filter of me rather than what is true. And so the resurrection is possible, but something must die Death to this way of thinking that keeps me from my eye. I've held pain my whole life, lost inside of me, gathering glimpses of the eye, yet identified with me. So now switching my perspective to the eye identity and polarizing my thoughts through mental alchemy, indeed, holds the key to aligning me with inner authority. This truth that is seen, once having the eyes to see, provides great freedom from the bondage of me. He who would follow Christ must give up all the cravings of the self and lose his life in saving life. I come to save the lost, and man is saved when he is rescued from himself. But men are slow to understand this doctrine of the Christ.